You've got to embrace change. You can't sit here and complain about it all day. You've got to embrace it and realize that technology is giving us a tremendous amount of opportunity for people to listen to music. We just have to make sure everybody gets paid. Uh, I get these emails from Billboard and they're really, really great as far as keeping you up to date. And the one here, it has this headline, U.S. Record Industry Sees Album Sales Sink to Historic Lows. Again. But people are listening more than ever. So what it's saying is that music is no less popular than it's ever been. It's generating a tremendous amount of income for record companies, for artists, for music publishers, so don't get that wrong. But how it's, been how it's being distributed and how people are listening to music and what they're paying for has changed dramatically. The first six months of 2016, album units overall fell 13.6% with 100.3 million total sales. Okay? Compact discs continue to crumble. Okay, surprise, surprise, right? They're losing 11.6% and moving 50 million units, okay? So of the 10.3 million sales to date, 50 million are CDs, surprisingly enough. Digital albums fell to 48, excuse me, 43.8 million from 53.7 million in the first half of last year. Final sales? continue to move up. They are growing 11.4% to 6.2 million. New album releases have been most affected by the continued contraction, falling 20.2% overall to 44.1 million units. Catalog sales fell to 7.7% to 56.2 million. But get this, Listeners streamed, okay? Let's, streaming is, is, is where it's going. Listeners streamed 208.9 billion songs, which translates to 139.2 million album units between January and July 6th of this year, an increase of 58.7%, okay? But what's really interesting is revenues, okay? So you look at all that, you're like, oh my goodness, albums are tanking, there's no money, right? But it says, Billboard estimated, estimates total U.S. revenue at $1.98 billion so far this year versus $1.82 billion last year, okay? So it's like the money has gone up, but the sales when it comes to, and, and new artist sales, we know that because you, know, you look at the number of units that have moved and how they're charting on the Billboard Top 100, and it's stunning. I mean, it used to be first week sales, millions of units. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes you can have a number one you know, with 23,000 units sold or less. So it, it, it's just a, it's a changing industry. Record companies are having to adapt. Artists are having to adapt. And record companies are still trying to figure it out. I mean, the 360 deals have helped them stay in business, but everybody is trying to figure it out. Nobody has all the answers. And, um, you know, if you, you've just got to be willing to change. You've got to embrace change. You can't sit here and complain about it all day. You've got to embrace it and realize that technology is giving us a tremendous amount of opportunity for people to listen to music. We just have to make sure everybody gets paid fairly.